<laughs> well, I've done one knee high drop at, at home at the ball and a half zone. 18 at most, and did it, and it felt really, really weird. Um, but I understand that's just the way it's going to be. And, uh, I've, I've seen a couple of guys do it so far early in this year, and I've watched them golf, and they've had the re drop. So hopefully, I won't be you know, one of those guys that, that does it. Hopefully, I won't have to do it, period. <laughs> won't be in that. Uh, is it a hazard or is it a penalty area? Yeah. Penalty area. Well, see, I'm going to screw that up. <laughs> uh, as far as the flag stick in, it, some of the, probably some of the, the longer putts, uh, I, I like having Joey there as a, as a reference point. So the flag will, will be there. He'll obviously have to take it out. But uh, some of the putts were, you know, where the the hole is kind of visible, you know, with as it comes up over a rise, I, I can see it. But it'd be nice to have a, a reference point, so I'll probably leave it in for, the, for those kind of putts. I've been experimenting trying to hit putts downhill at home and see how that, that feels. And I didn't find that I hit better putts. It just felt, yeah, I could hit it more aggressively, which I did, and I'm trying to run at eight, nine feet by. Um, so that's, that was, I, I understand how some of the guys are, are doing it. Um, it might be more advantageous when we get on uh, faster greens, a little bit more slope. I.e. Augusta, um, having that, that sense of security on a, on a three or four footer down the hill, you can just uh, take a cut at it. Um, but here, everything's got to be a little bit bouncy, a little bit bumpy, so who knows.